Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how I clean up my bangle keychain after it comes out of the mold. Um, I use an X-Acto knife and some sandpaper and I have a little dust mask for um, when I sand. So it it's still a little bit flexible. It hasn't been in there but maybe 16 hours. Um, it's so much easier to cut the excess off when it is still a little pliable. So I just get it popped out of the mold. And you can see, I just peel off any of the extra that is easy to peel off on the top. And then you can see the mold um, when you pour it in. It comes up to the top and leaves this little, this little like ridge at the top. And that's what we're gonna um, get off of there. So what I do is just take my X-Acto knife and I just, since it's still easy to bend, it's pretty flexible. This is super easy just to cut off. And also be very careful cutting towards you. If you wait and do this after it's completely cured, it's a little bit harder. That is why I do it before um, before 24 hours. And I'm not cutting down into the bracelet, I'm just cutting kind of flush with the, the top. And then I go around, see if I miss any spots. And then you can see here, it took all of the top off. And then it does leave a little bit of a roughness. So what I do is put my dust mask on. And then I sand the top part. And since you already cut all of it off with the X-Acto knife, it's not hard to sand at all. Um, now you can see it's all smooth. And what I do is just take the epoxy on my fingers and I will run it over the bracelet and just shine it up so we don't have that where you can see you sanded it. And it'll shine up the other side because my mold in particular doesn't have, um, it doesn't make the side shiny that's inside of there. So I hope this helped and don't forget to subscribe so you continue to see my videos as I post them. And thank you for watching.